It's all the way down. It's all the way down. Turn it. You heard about that, no? What? They're looking for who? They're looking for Nate Diaz. Oh, Nate Diaz. Yeah, because he choked out a glider. At, like, I think it was on Bourbon Street or some shit. Damn, Nate. Nate right. Diaz. Man. Yeah, he's a, I mean, fighting, fighting a regular guy. He, he He's decent in the UFC, but uh, uh, there's a guy on the street, man. He was yeah. Your ass. Man. Yeah, he choked them out quick, too. Like, it was kind of, if you yeah, bleed, you missed it. Yeah, you need, he need, oh, they got, they got footage of it? Yeah, yeah, it's probably on Twitter if you... Oh, yeah, I'm watching it right now. He's beating, choking him out on Barber Street. Yeah, it was quick. I, if you blink, yeah. you'll miss it. Yeah, he's a, he's, he fought Conor McGregor and all those guys, man. Yeah. He'll, he'll kick Joe Schmo's ass in like two seconds, man. Listen, man. Apparently quicker man, than that. That's the... By the violence. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Maybach. And I'm Christina Rondon, the 13-year-old girl. Is it, is it, um, is it, um... Rumble or is it? Is I don't it know. It's not that bad. It's just like the guy falls back onto Bourbon Street, which is like not the street you want to go the, head first yeah, into. I think it's good for here just because it happened so fast. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's just some yelling and he takes him out. Yeah. Bay family is devastated by the violence. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Meebach. And I'm Christina Rendon. The 13-year-old girl was having a slumber party with her best friend when police say shots rang out at her apartment late last night. KTV's Alyssa Harrington has been speaking. She's having a slumber party with her best friend in a goddamn cane. Oh, here we go. I'm awake again. <laughs> yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, came in and slide no fucking note under the door. Glider climb my sleep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Put a note under the door, man. We gonna fucking do it. We gonna get, get <laughs> we gonna fucking really do this shit. Shots rang out at her apartment late last night. KTV's Alyssa Harrington has been speaking with family members. She joins us live in the newsroom tonight. Alyssa, what are they saying about this? Well, Christina, Mike, I spoke with the teenager's father who said he is also mourning the loss of his ex-wife. He called his daughter an old soul who liked classic art and old school R&B and said she loved doing hair. He gave us permission to speak with her older sister who was there during the shooting. She told me their last conversation was planning a trip to the beach that was supposed to happen today. Got to stay strong for the little ones. Little step up. 15-year-old Denise Jenkins of Oakland lost her mom, 44-year-old Rebecca Jenkins, and her 13-year-old sister, Desiree, wow. in what family... This wouldn't mm. be complete if it weren't the 13-year-old and the glider woman. Was she elderly? Was the glider woman elderly? Well, I mean, she's the mom of this 15-year-old. She ain't that fucking old. <laughs> um, she... she... She's just, she's just a regular glider woman, man. She probably was like probably 45, something like that. Right? Something. Little step up. 15-year-old Denise Jenkins of Oakland lost her mom, 44-year-old Rebecca Jenkins, and her 13-year-old sister, Desiree, in what family members are calling a tragic case of domestic violence. The mother and daughter were shot and killed in their East Oakland home on 94th and Bird Street late Saturday night. Police arrested 46-year-old Antonio Lamont Powell, who Denise said was her mother. Give me a race on Antonio Lamont Powell. Man. Oh, man. Beats the sun, man, Jack. Hey, Tone, what race do you think he was? I tell you what, that uh, black scene may protect you from uh, racism claims, but it doesn't protect you from the sun. That, from death. Yeah, look at that neighborhood. That's a rough-looking neighborhood, man. Um, trash. Yeah, just looks like it's not. It's, it's, yeah. Once again, the uh, sun man picking up the overweight white woman. <laughs> this this but, is like the good memorial game. <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right. But I, you know, besides the fact that this is domestic, right? But just even with that said, we still gotta hear about like Emmett Till. Yeah. Never mind, right. like every single day, the entire he day, some are killing gliders. Hundreds of he, gliders a year. He killed that little girl. That little girl's not his daughter. Yep. He killed another person's daughter. There's another but, son, man, who is the ex husband. Right. Yeah, but, but, but we gotta hear about Emmett Tell. I'm just saying, man, it's like mind boggling. 
Is, Emmett Till and uh, Tulsa. Yeah, it's just, it's just like I mean, like I'm not saying it's right to kill your own daughter. It's never, it's nothing <laughs> right. But you killed like somebody else's daughter during the domestic dispute. Right. You just, you just a piece of shit all around. Had to wait. You just uh, like I mean you're literally like the worst person in the world like hey. like this woman right here whatever I get it women talk shit and women <laughs> piss you off and I get it. Yeah. but hey, don't kill a kid no though. Dog. you don't gotta kill a kid though nah it's just it's just just she. Yeah, she this literally looks like the fucking gun memorial. Like that little picture yeah. have her face like right here in the step. <laughs> you know, the gun memorial, man. Shit, she got her shit. Man, this is just sad. Man. Right. I don't know where I was See, was in the gun game. Argument, yeah. Like it, I didn't think it was gonna go this far. Denise said it started as a normal Saturday night. She was home with her mom, her mom's boyfriend, her three younger sisters, and Desiree's best friend who So he came in a house full of girls. Big tough guy came in a house full of fucking girls. Man, fuck this shit, man. I ain't playing with me, man. I don't care, man. Like, you in a house full of little girls and women and shit. It ain't no fucking pair of nuts in the whole house except for you. And you run around a gun acting like you fucking bad. And I don't hear there's anybody in custody. <sighs> or maybe did they say maybe there is Antonio, right? Yeah, Tony. I don't know if he's a cousin. I think they're looking for him, man. Make sure you hit the PayPal, Cash App, Super Chat, man. Support the channel, man. Um, it's is I. <laughs> you can't make this up. It just, yeah, it's just the cowardliness and the pussiness, the just to go into. A house like with a bunch of little damn to sleep over and shit. And you bust in like man, fuck that shit. I ain't take this shit no more, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad about like some fucking bullshit, like some stupid shit, bullshit. bullshit. <laughs> you come in and just start. Oh my god, man. <sighs> as a normal Saturday night. She was home with her mom, her mom's boyfriend, her three younger sisters, and Desiree's best friend, who was there for a sleepover. Just after 11 p.m., Denise heard gunshots. So basically, I was laying in bed, and I just hear multiple gunshots. And so my instinct just got up because, you know, I need to make sure everything was okay. That's just how I am. And then I saw him. Just screaming, raging, not saying no words, just raging. Denise ran to a bedroom and called. Saying no words, just. So you got a grown ass man in a house full of little girls having a sleepover, and he just raging and shit. <laughs> man, fuck this shit, man. Like, listen, man, listen, man. A real, listen, a real man, a real son, man, even, man. A real son, man. A real son, man. I'm talking about a son, man. That's, you know, so the streets and the killer. Be like, man, bitch, you lucky these motherfucking kids here, man. And walk out, you know what I'm saying? Bitch, you lucky these fucking kids here. I'll kill your ass these fucking kids when they had to walk out or some shit. You know what I'm saying? That, that's after he heard the shots, though. So he's raging afterwards, after he's killed them. Yeah, man, it's just... Yeah, because like a Sun Man argument, you know, you'd be able to hear that shit coming. So it's interesting that she hadn't mentioned hearing anything before that. Maybe she was asleep and the gunshots yeah, could have up. You know what I'm saying? And the gunshots could have, because you can hear the gunshots a, a, a mile away. You might you not be able to hear an argument in the, in the um, you know, the next house or whatever, next floor. True. Sure. But yeah, but still, like, ugh. Raging. Denise ran to a bedroom and called 911. Rebecca and Desiree were killed. Desiree's friend was also hit by gunfire, but Denise said she was able to crawl to a neighbor's house with her seven year old sister to get help. That so he shot the friend that was over for the sleepover, too. Damn. <laughs> 
Oh yeah. Well, since when? When the when the, the the time of oh someone got killed for accidentally opening the door, or got killed for accidentally going up the driveway. <laughs> Did, didn't these girls get killed for like accidentally having to sleep over around? With, the within three days of that, we have like fifty other examples of atrocities. <laughs> right. I know I keep saying that, but things that are just by comparison so far out of proportion with that. But that guy's getting two point five million dollars. Right. That's more I that four and nine or some shit. On the scale, though, yeah, like on the scale of all of them, his case, y'all is like literally the, the <laughs> um, egregious. Yeah, I think so. I think and so. And I've covered a few of them on this channel, but I haven't covered all of them. And right. it's crazy, man. Like, this is worse than that, man. Way worse. There's a if he had just been yelling and raging and like kicking holes in the wall and slamming doors with these little girls here, I would have been like, You a whore, my G. You a whole bitch. bitch <laughs> Check dude. it out. If this had been a glider uh, stepdad that right. did this, this shit would be, you know, it'd be all about the racial aspect. Right, right. Came and go to a sleepover. A glider kills fun kids. Right. Oh my god, yeah, definitely. Definitely. It's just it's just fucking this shit pisses me off, man. This shit pisses me off because the, the, the other parents who sent their kids over right. there for the sleepover, and that's just something that you gotta be conscious of now. Yeah. Like if you send your kids on sleeper, is there a sun man in the mix? <laughs> like, this bitch got a sun man boyfriend, or is there like a yeah, ask? Yeah, I, forget dude. asking if there's a loaded gun in the house. Ask if there's a sun man in the house. In the no, he don't even. Are you sun at Jason? Yeah, it's proximal. Man in the mix is a, a ex boyfriend, a fucking a a, a, a ex husband, a sun team, um, son, a goddamn a simp, a sun man simp, an ex boyfriend, an ex kind. Someone that's yeah, in a fucking prison coming home soon. Someone that's a bot. That was someone that's on bond. Someone that got some EM on it. <laughs> Is your neighbor a sister? Right, right. Let's not even start it on the people who surround your house. Man, it's it's mind boggling. It really is. Her seven year old sister to get help. That friend was then taken to the hospital. Desiree was a student at Monterra Middle School. Family members say she was energetic and a go-getter. She wanted to open her own hair salon one day. She's a very kind person. She wasn't rude or nothing. Like, she was there for people. She loved braiding hair. Like, she was good at it. Denise said she is trying to stay strong. She wants people to know her mother was always there for her family and always protected them. She stand up for us. She was there for us. She she treated us well. Even if she didn't like have enough for us, she al always got us what we wanted. Now, Denise and her younger sisters are safe. They are staying with their grandmother in Oakland, and their father is catching a flight to the Bay Area to be with them. They are asking that everyone keep their family in their prayers. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Alyssa Herring. Uh, we are following some breaking news in Oakland, and sadly, a 15-month-old baby, we've learned, has been shot. Oakland fire officials tell us the shooting happened near 11th Avenue and East 14th Street. Witnesses tell us they saw a man and a woman holding a girl who was bleeding, banging on the door at a nearby fire station. Officials say that firefighters at Station 4 did what they could for the child before the baby was taken to UCSF Benioff Children's Hospital. We do have a crew on the scene. Again, a child in Oakland has been shot. We will have a live report coming up tonight on the 10 o'clock. Jesus Christ. Isn't that yeah. what the A's at, Alex? Yeah, look, look where it happened here. Mandela Place. 